Hey guys, it's Deb. Welcome to part 34 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Legacy Challenge. In our last episode, Ty asked Ava to marry him and she said yes. And even though there is a lot of turmoil in Ty's household right now, and he's extremely upset over the fact that his parents are getting divorced, he is still very happy that the woman of his dreams has agreed to be his wife. And he has brought her home with him, and he is planning to tell Haley the good news. Now, he understands that his mother um, is very upset right now. She's feeling very fragile right now. And he's going to tread very lightly with her when he gives her this news. But um, even though she is upset, he is hoping that quite possibly this news might even help Haley a little bit. News that um, another member will be added to their family. And let's just find out how Haley is going to take this news. You know, Haley wants grandchildren, but I don't know if she wants them with Lena Caballero's daughter. That, you know, I really could not tell you. But Ty is going to go ahead and talk to his mom. He's going to pull her aside. Um, first of all, he's going to express his admiration for his mother and tell her, you know, how much he appreciates all that she has done for him over the years. And then he's going to call her out here into the backyard for a bit of privacy because he does want to talk to her away from the rest of the members of the family. Um, away from Ava. So that um, Ava will not hear if, by some chance, Haley does not want Ty to get married. You know, there's always that possibility because Haley is in a very strange place right now. You know, her emotions um, are very fragile at the moment. Ty realizes that, and he wants to make sure that Ava and no one else hears their conversation. Um, but, you know, he's going to tell his mother how much she means to him and how much she he loves her and, you know, how much she appreciates the way that she has raised him and he's going to tell her what a good example that she set for him and he's going to tell her that he found a woman who he feels uh, will be a fantastic mother also a woman who he feels that he wants to share the rest of his life with have children with and grow old with so that is what he's going to tell her he is going to tell her that yes he has indeed in fact asked Ava to marry him and find out what Haley has to say about it. Uh, now, he's telling her the news now. And I have to be honest, Haley is a little bit shocked to hear this news. Uh, she is still feeling quite sad. And she is a little bit stunned right now uh, and a little bit taken off guard. Now, she realizes that Ty has no idea that Ava's mother is the reason for her breakup with Drake. And she's not going to tell Ty. She feels, first of all, that it's too soon uh, to be talking about it. And she also feels that it's really not even her place to tell Ty about it. She feels it's more of Drake's place to tell the children what he did. Um, you know, she's not the one who did it. And she doesn't want to speak bad about their father to them either. Um, but she's going to go ahead and tell Ty how proud she is of him, of how he turned out, and that he's the best son that a mom could ever have. And she's going to go ahead and tell him that, yes, if he loves Ava, if he feels that she can make him happy, if he wants to spend the rest of his life with this woman, then yes, it is all right with her. Um, she just wants him to be happy. Whatever will make him happy is what Haley wants for him and for the rest of her children. Um, now, another thing also that Ty wants to talk to Haley about. Um, you know, on the ride over here from Ty's father's house, which is where 
he and Ava were before they came here. He went and talked to his dad uh, about asking Ava to marry him before he asked her. And um, on the ride over here from his dad's house, he noticed that Ava got really quiet. And he couldn't really figure out what was wrong with her. And he looked at her and he saw tears in her eyes. And, you know, Ava confessed to him that um, she, in fact, is also having problems at home with her parents. That lately her parents have been at each other's throats, yelling and screaming at each other. And, in fact, her parents are also getting a divorce. And she can't even stand being in the house with them right now. So he is going to go ahead. He did mention to Ava about the possibility of um, moving in with his family until they get married. And, you know, Ava seemed to think that that would probably be a good idea if it was okay with Haley. So Ty is going to go ahead and ask Haley how she feels about that and whether it would be all right for him to ask um, Ava to move in with him. Now, Ty thought that that was a little bit strange, and Haley said yes. If you would like to invite Ava to move in, you can do so. We have the room. She can move in. Uh, so Ty is going to go ahead and ask her. You know, Ty is an adult now, and Ava is an adult now. They're both young adults. Um, he is going to go ahead and ask Ava to move in with him. Now, um... When Ava told him, and where is Ava? I bet she's probably crying somewhere, right? No, there she is. She's upstairs on the computer. Uh, when Ava told Ty that her own parents were getting divorced as well, Ty thought that was a little odd and a little strange. And he started thinking about things that he overheard and just didn't pay much attention to. Um... And little looks that he had noticed. And when she told him her parents are also getting divorced, you know, in the back of his mind, he wondered if possibly the two divorces might just be connected to each other. Of course, he did not come out and say this to Ava, but he also saw something strange in Ava's eyes. And he thinks maybe Ava might know a little bit more about the whole situation than what she has told him. But he is going to go ahead and ask her to move in with him. And of course she said yes. <laughs> so Ava will be moving in with Ty and his family. Um, and what has happened here? I don't know. Where is Lena in this house, the Caballero household? I don't see her. Could it be that she also moved out? I don't know. We'll have to see what's going on with all of that. Um, but yes, Ava is now a part of our household. And Ty will be finding himself a job. He has always, you know, since Ty was a child, he has wanted to be an astronaut. He has always been so curious about space. And he is a genius. And he has studied um, the stars and the planets. And he is just so um, curious about possibly life on other planets. And he wants to get out and see if there is. He wants to become an astronaut. So he will be joining the astronaut career right after or maybe even before he and Ava get married. So here is Ava. She is a part of our family. And now let's just go ahead and look at her relationships. She does not like April. Oh, and she hates Carissa. Well, I'm kind of not surprised because, you know, Ty did a... Oh, <laughs> that sounded terrible. Ty did date both April and Carissa for a very short time. So, you know, it makes total sense that Ava would not like either of these girls Okay, she does like Carson. 
Uh, of course, she loves Ty, and Ty, thankfully, is the only romantic relationship that she has, and I'm so very glad to see that, because you never know <laughs> what other Sims are up to when they do not live in your household. Um, you know, all kinds of things can happen, uh, but she is so glad to be here with Ty, um, and she's going to come over here and sit on the bed with him hey. and talk to him for just a few minutes. <laughs> And she's going to tell Ty that she does have a confession to make. Um, Tebow, near Pruba. She is going to tell him, and I hear the piano. Someone's playing the piano. It must be Mia playing the piano. Um, I wish it, that she could. Okay, here we go. She is going to tell him something that is going to rock his world. Yes, Ava does have a confession to make. Ava is going to go ahead and tell Ty that she heard her parents talking and she does know the reason for their divorce. Ava is telling Ty that she found out that there was definitely something going on between her mother, Lena, and Ty's father, Drake. And Ty is not happy to hear this. Um, and Ava is still very sad about her parents getting divorced. And um, she's just going to talk to Ty. Um, she's going to hug him and kind of cry on his shoulder a little bit and tell him, you know, she cannot believe that this happened between their parents and she cannot believe that both of their parents marriages are breaking up and that her mother is the cause of it now Ava's not sure who started this relationship she does not know whether Lena started it or whether Drake started it but you know that really doesn't matter right now because either one of them had the opportunity to say no and refuse to cheat because they were both married with children and they both went ahead with it. Um, so, yes, now Ty does know that his father cheated on his mother. But Ty has decided he is not going to tell the other children. He's not even going to discuss it with Haley. He is, however, going to discuss this with his father. Because he's very upset with his father right now. He is very angry with his father for what has happened. Uh, and he feels so sorry for Ava, and, and he feels so sorry for his mother, that his mother had to go through that. Uh, but he is very happy with where his relationship with Ava is going. And let's just pop in and see what Haley is doing right now. Haley is watching the news, and you can look, uh, you know, this, for so long, this was Haley's world right here. Drake and her four children. That's, you know, she gave it her all. That's all that she cared about. And yes, she is going to leave Drake's portrait hanging in the living room because after all, if she took it down, that would be kind of like an insult to her children because they still love him. He is still their father. So she is going to um, leave that portrait of him there. And let's just see, um, she painted a sad painting, and it is worth 679 simoleons. And it looks kind of neat, actually. <laughs> but we are going to let Haley come over um, and paint another painting. We'll have her paint a confident painting, because thankfully, she's feeling more confident now because of the sad painting she just made. Then she is sad, so that is really good. But she's also got frayed nerves because Mia <laughs> is not doing all that great on the <laughs> piano. And let's see how Madison is doing. Madison is still very sad. Uh, she is working on her writing. She does want to become a best-selling author. So that is what she has been doing. And let's make sure that... Um, okay, it looks to me like... Mia needs to get off the piano and go grab herself something to eat. So we will let her do that. She's going to have cake because she is so sad. And, you know, whatever gets you through it. And look. Oh, no. 
Little Michael was crying there for a minute. Look how sad he is. And he was practicing his programming, and he is also quite hungry. So he's going to come down and also have a piece of cake. And we'll just see um, how everything else is going. Okay, so Ty and Ava have moved in together. They are planning to get married. And there's something else that Ava really needs to tell Ty, and she does not quite know how to break this news to him. But she is going to go ahead and tell him. Um, what she has got to tell him is very upsetting. You know, I mean, the whole divorce is upsetting. But what she has to tell Ty is that right before she came over to her, his dad's house to see him when he invited her over, that, you know, earlier that day, she heard her mother talking on the phone with Ty's father. Wayne. And they were talking about Deep moving stuff. in together. And this stuff. is just really a blow to or Ty. Yeah. You know, he's just now finding out that his father cheated on his mother. And now he's finding out that his father is planning on moving in with Lena's mother, if they have not already done so. So Ty is quite upset about that. And you can see Michael just walked in the room. So Ty and Ava have quit talking about the whole divorce situation. Because, you know, Ty feels it's best not to tell the other children uh, about what has gone on. And I'm hearing someone crying right now. <laughs> there are two people in this bed. This is Ty's bed. And I'm not really sure who's in here. <laughs> Uh, Mia is in here, and it has to be Madison. So, uh, yeah. Mia and Madison are both extremely upset, and I want to apologize about my voice cracking. Uh, my throat is very scratchy from all of the pollen that's in the air in real life, so I do have to apologize for that. But Madison is going to go down, and she's going to give her mother a hug. And, um, you know... All of the children are really excited, you know, Uncle about the Shashu. fact that Ty and Ava are getting married and that Ava has moved in. Uh -huh. But at the same time, you know, it does not help their mood at all um, to hear about a wedding when their own family is breaking apart. But Madison is going to, she's hungry, and we're going to let Madison... Oh, someone already cooked something. Let's just see. I thought everyone was eating cake. Let's just find out. This may even be spoiled. Uh, Mia Stone made these pancakes, and they are excellent quality. So we're going to go ahead and let Madison grab a serving of these pancakes at 10 p.m. at night on a Saturday night. You know, what's better than pancakes at night? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, chocolate cake. <laughs> Okay, and we're going to go ahead and put these up for her. And look at poor Michael. He is still so heartbroken. You know, and uh, Ty really feels that he did the right thing by not telling the other children what's going on. And, you know, Ty has asked his mother, um, you know, Ty respects his mother so much. And um, he said, you know, even though Ava has moved in, you know, we are not planning on sleeping in the same room, you know. Ava can sleep in the girls' room, and either Madison, well, probably Madison since they're twins. Madison can sleep in Michael's room, Mom, because, you know, we're not married yet, and I respect you, Mom, and I respect your values, and don't think that me moving... Ava in, you know, is about woohooing together, because it's not... And, you know, Haley loves Ty so much, and she she raised him right, and she is so um, so thrilled that he respects her so much to say something like that. So even though Ava is living in the household now, Ty is not going to be sharing a bed with her. You know, they, they probably will sneak and woohoo. <laughs> you know, don't get me wrong. But as far as, you know, what the other children see, Ty and Ava will not be sharing a bed together until they are married. 
And uh, that will probably happen tomorrow, Sunday, possibly in the very next part. But it is late right now. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and have everyone go to bed and go to sleep. Let's make sure that Ava does not need anything. She looks good. Um, okay, so Madison will be sleeping with her brother, Michael. This is Michael's bed. Uh, Mia will be sleeping in her own bed, which is this one. Haley, are you, she's washing her hands or doing the dishes or something. Um, and then that means that uh, Ava will be sleeping in the bed that Ty was sleep, sitting on, which is Madison's bed. And the way I determined which one's Madison's bed is because this is Madison's picture. <laughs> and I put the picture by her bed so I would remember. Uh, Madison acquired the mischief skill. Okay. Uh, well, you know, that's kind of how Madison is. She is a little mischievous, <laughs> if I must say. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and let the family sleep, and I will pick back up with you in the morning. Okay, so it is really early in the morning, a little after 6 on Sunday, and Ty and Ava are both up, and they both just had some pancakes. Um, now, Ty had a really tough time sleeping last night because he kept thinking about what his father has done. And he has, has told Ava that he wants to go visit his father today alone and just talk to his father. Now, he did not tell Ava this, but he is extremely angry with his dad right now. And he's going to go over to his dad's house and just find out what his dad has to say about what he did to his mother. You know, he wants to know what could possess him to break up their family like this. Um... As far as Ty is concerned, his mother and father always appear to have a really rock-solid, uh, good relationship. And he just wants to know what was up with that. You know, why his father felt the need to step outside the marriage and break up their family. And he just wants to see what his dad has to say for himself. And he wants to find out why his dad did not fess up to the fact... Um, it looks like his dad's crying in the bed. Why he did not fess up to the fact that he had cheated. Why did he not tell, you know, Ty's going to say, I was here discussing marriage with you and asking you about Ava. And you never once mentioned to me the fact that you were having a relationship with Ava's mother. Why did you not tell me, Dad? You know, don't you feel you owed that to me? And, you know, I'm at least... Oh, my gosh. Look, y'all. Look, guys. Look who is sitting over here at the computer. Yep. It's her. Oop. It is Lena Caballero sitting right here in Drake's office. So, you know, does she live here? I just wonder if she lives here now. Uh, you know... Ava heard them talking on the phone. She heard her mother talking on the phone to Drake about moving in with Drake. So, I'm guessing she lives here now. Uh, but Ty's going to go ahead and yell at his dad. You know, he's got such a good relationship with his dad. But he cannot understand why his dad would do this. And why his dad would not tell him what happened. And immediately, Drake starts crying. You know, he... He, and that obviously makes Ty feel a little bit bad, you know, a little bit sorry for him. And Ty's trying to understand. Ty wants to know, you know, what happened? Did you just fall out of love with Mom? Is that what happened? And you just did not want to tell her? Um, you know, he's going to tell his dad he's sorry that he yelled at him. You know, I'm sorry that I yelled at you, Dad, but you have ruined their entire family. No, was it, you know, was it worth it? Are you in love with Lena? You know, did you fall out of love with Mom and in love with Lena? Is that what happened? Or was it just physical? You know, is she just someone that you're just playing with? You know, I don't know. Um, and we'll just see. 
that's what all yeah. Drake has to say about it. Um, he's going to go ahead. Um, he's going to tell his dad that, uh, you know, Ava has moved in with the family and that his mother is doing fine despite the fact that she broke her heart. She is doing fine. And any man would, you know, be very happy to get her and, you know, don't be upset if she starts dating again because, you know, it, it looks like you have moved on. And Drake is telling Ty that, yes, um, he does have real feelings for Lena Caballero, that he still loves Haley and that he will always love Haley. And that he made a mistake. He messed up. And he's telling Ty that if his mother, if Haley would have forgiven him, that he would have broke things off with Lena and he would have stayed with Haley and never cheated on her ever again. But Haley could not forgive him. Um, she could not get past it and she could never trust him again. And he does care about Lena and Lena is living here now. He and Lena have moved in together because he does care about Lena. You know, Lena is not Haley and he does not know where this relationship with Lena will go. But... He does care about her, and he needs someone right now. And he's telling Ty that Lena loves him and wants to be with him, and they're going to try it together and see what happens. And Ty just has to accept it, I guess. Uh, but, you know, he does not have to like it. And Ty's going to go over, first of all, and he's going to tell Lena the news that... Um, Time's over that he and Ava are getting married and that Ava has moved in with him. And then he's going to yell at her and tell her he does not appreciate what she did to his mother. And he's going to tell her what he thinks about her. He's going to say, you know, I have to get along with you because you are the mother of my fiance, but I do not have to like it. I do not have to like you. You know, I have to have peace. And, of course, Lena's feeling flirty. She's always feeling freaking flirty. And she's sitting around in her underwear. Um, and Ty is not happy with her at all. He's going to insult her. He does not want to make their relationship too terribly awful. Because he will be having to get along with her. Uh, you know, he's marrying her daughter. But he's just telling Lena how, you know, she not only hurt his family, but she hurt her daughter as well. And he's telling her how upset Ava is about this whole situation um, and how he just does not appreciate what happened here. You know, he's not sure of all the details and he does not want to know all the details. And, you know, I don't know if I'm seeing this right, but it looks to me like Miss... Pussy pants over here is actually flirting with Ty a little bit. You know, I would not put it past her. That is just the way this woman is. But, you know, Ty's had enough. He's going home. He did what he came to do. You know, he, he let his father know how upset he was about the whole situation. And he found out, yes, indeed, Lena is living with his father. Which... I don't know how he's going to tell Haley about this. He's going to tell her because he does not want Haley to find out about this through the gossip mill, through the rumor mill. Um, he's got to tell her. And it's going to absolutely break Haley's heart to know that Drake has moved in with <laughs> that home wrecking slut, Lena Caballero. But he is going to go ahead and tell her what is going on. Let's just see where Haley is. <laughs> Haley is upstairs crying. You know, why am I not surprised? And it looks like Madison is going to do the same thing. You know, and Ty does not really know how to tell his mother about this. He does not know how to tell her at all. I don't know how she's going to take this news. Um, but I can tell you it's not going to be pretty. Not at all. It so is not. Um, but I have to tell you guys that it's time for me to say goodbye for now. 
But I hope you all have enjoyed this episode of the Legacy Challenge. And I hope you are enjoying the series. And I want to thank you all so very, very much for watching. It means so much to me to have all of your support. Let me know what you think about the series in the comments down below. If you like this video, please leave me a like. And if you are liking my videos and haven't done so already, please subscribe. I'll see you next time.